Make sure you drink water, but don't drink too much. That might be the kicker this week. Water intoxication is a thing, and it's not like intoxication by alcohol. Uh, you'll drink so much water to a point where your cells will explode. So if you want to avoid doing that, I suggest drinking the right amount of water. I am by no means in the medical field, so if you have any issues, I recommend consulting your doctor. Yeah, find that right amount of water. Hey there, welcome back to True North Reviews. My name is Ryan, and today we are doing an episode of Hot and Cold. This is a video series I like to do where I talk about the best and worst music I've heard over the past week, the hot being the best, the worst being the cold, and some middle of the road tracks too. As per usual, the songs will be linked down in the description. If you want to check out any of the songs, feel free to do so. And if you have any suggestions for future episodes, feel free to let me know. First up this week, as we always do here, we're talking about the hot tracks, the best of the week. We have a new, the 1975 single, People. And yeah, this is a punk song. This is unlike anything they've done before, and I don't think anyone could have predicted this kind of sound when the band has always had a clean and pristine kind of identity to them. I never thought they would go for some abrasive guitars, and I didn't really think that they would suit them, but they do. And I have an easier time seeing why Maddie Healy would be comfortable with singing aggressively. He's done it a number of times in the past. I think back to tracks like Love It If We Made It. More specifically about this new song, People, it has an environmental message being sent out to everyone about climate change, and it is acting as the leadoff single for their upcoming album, Notes on a Conditional Form, which is rumored to be dropping in February uh, 2020. That is a long wait, but um, knowing 1975, they are going to be putting together uh, meticulously this track list. And they're off on a good start with this new leadoff single. If you don't count that weird spoken word track they put out, I think, last month. Moving on from there, we have a new Five Seconds of Summer single. This one is entitled Teeth. This one has a great bass line, it has a great hook, and it's better than that Charlie Puth knockoff that they put out uh, earlier this summer. Next up, Sturgill Simpson. He has a, a leadoff single for his upcoming album that is due to drop on September 27th. This new one is called Sing Along, and this is country with a disco beat. It's very unique. Moving on from there, Charlie Puth has a new single out. It's his first one since Voice Notes. I already did a full-length review of this. If you want to check out my opinions in further detail, uh, yeah, check that out. Just as a quick recap here, though, it's a short song. It's of the darker pop edge, something that Billie Eilish might do, but it's with the signature Charlie Puth howls and selfish lyrics. Lana Del Rey has put out a couple new tracks over the past week. The one that I want to highlight as a hot track is The Greatest. No, not the Sia song. This one here from Lana Del Rey has uh, some interesting piano, some Mellotron, and a catchier tune overall compared to the one that I will talk about later on in the video. But uh, this one here, The Greatest, it sounds like Wise Blood from her album Titanic Rising. Optimistic is the name of the new X Ambassador single. I highly recommend checking out the track review over at SMEB Reviews. That's where I found out that this song was actually put out last week. I didn't think I was going to be able to put it on this list in time, but I listened to Noah's review of it and I was won over and checked out the track and still won over. It's a great track. This is a high energy, fast paced song and it's pretty gritty with its guitars. It has some similar subject matter to People by the 1975 the song I was talking about earlier, um, but it talks a little bit more about gun control. And really just both of these artists this week, Ex Ambassadors in the 1975, I'm really impressed with this panicky sense to the vocals and the tone that it goes for on both of these tracks. And wrapping up the hot tracks this week, we have a new single from Brockhampton one last time round before they drop their new album, which I will be doing a review of. This last single to drop before the new album is called No Halo, and uh, this one has some great guitar chords and it has some compelling lyrics about Brockhampton not being angels, even if they made the ethical decision to kick out Amir from the band based on his sexual misconduct allegations. Great tune, great tune. Those are the hot tracks for this week. Moving on from there, we have the middle of the road tracks. These are songs that I thought were okay, not amazing, not the worst, just something to keep on your mind. First up, we have the return of Milky Chance, and they are not alone. They are joining up with 
Tash Sultana. This new one from them is entitled Daydreaming, and it is dropping with an album announcement as well, coming out towards November, sometime around there. But more about this song, I would say that it's of the beach kind. Like, you know, you play it on the beach, and there's nothing really too memorable about it. The instrumental is kind of repetitive, and it gets a little long in the tooth by the end of it. It is a loop melody kind of song that only wears itself thin, and yeah. That's what I think about that one. And the other Lana Del Rey song I want to point out this week lands itself on the middle of the road tracks. This is F It, I Love You. And this has got to be the most middle of the road track I could possibly recommend. It even makes swearing so bland that I don't even know what to think of it. Like the swearing isn't like in your face. It isn't like even that effective at conveying any message. So I'm just like, okay. This is Lana Del Rey being Lana Del Rey, very laid back and very <laughs> breathy with her vocals. Hopefully that new album from Lana is going to be better than this single. Next up we have Missy Elliott with an EP. Uh, I want to uh, point out one song that I enjoy from it, the, one of the better ones. Not amazing, but Throw It Back is the name of this one. And uh, I love the sub bass and the beat to this one. I just can't stand the flows. The Story of Everything by Sheryl Crow is the latest single from Sheryl Crow, and uh, this one has a catchy chorus. I like the blend of country with rock and hip hop production. Ava Max, she has a new song out, Torn. This is like the most inoffensive pop song that I've heard in a while. And OK OK by Alicia Cara is uh, the latest single from the Canadian songstress. Uh, this one has a tight and sugary hook, solid production, just not not really comparing to what song she put out uh, a few weeks ago. And now wrapping up the week with some cold tracks. These are by far the worst that I heard over the past week. Uh, only three to talk about. First up, we have the new Sway Lee single featuring Drake, which I thought this was supposed to come out a couple weeks ago. I think it got delayed. Anyways, dropping it now doesn't really make much of a difference because I feel like this is clean and boring Latin rap. Even though nothing's wrapped in Spanish on this one, I just feel like there's way too many spaces between bars on this one. Walk the Moon have a new single out this past week. They teamed up with Braves uh, with a little circle above the A for proper spelling, you know, even though you can't see me spelling the words out. What I will do is spell out my opinion on this song though, and I think it's pretty vanilla and underwhelming with the vocals and very generic with its beat. And lastly this week, we have a new uh, single from Hobo Johnson. He is a hip hop artist. This one is called Subaru Cross Trek 15. And this one sounds like a, a song Kyle would do, you know, that artist. Um, it's very gimmicky with its flow. Not a big fan, but hopefully you are if you do like Kyle as an artist. And there you have it. There's Hot and Cold for this week. A uh, pretty quick and painless one to get through. Uh, not the greatest amount of material was put out. Still recommend the Hot Tracks, and if you get any enjoyment out of the middle of the road or cold tracks, feel free to let me know. Tell me why I'm wrong. You know, I'm here for conversation. Thanks for joining and listening to my opinions, as always. Uh, sound off down below in the comments, leave a like, subscribe if you're new in town, I'll catch you next time, and have a rockin' day.